Hello and welcome to episode 55 of Let's Run Facebook Ads, a podcast with me, Nick Boddington. This week, we are going to be discussing whether or not you should be running ads over the Christmas period. Now, that is Christmas 2022, but I suppose it doesn't really matter because Christmas is Christmas. Listen, if you're having trouble running your Facebook ads and you need help, then you need to come to the adsconnect.com. You will have me for free for 30 minutes and I'll look into your ads, what ads you got running, and we can see where we can fix the problems. Then, if you like what you see and you like the results, then you can use me all the time. Well, at least at least an hour a week anyway. No ties, just 30 minutes free call, and then see if you want to be a consultant of mine. Now let's dive straight in. Hello and welcome to the podcast, everyone. I hope everyone's well. It is the beginning of December. I think it's the 8th today, and this is episode 55. Now, today I want to be discussing something that's starting to really come up in our agency from our clients talking to us, my Colton consultancy clients talking to us, and I suppose it happens every year, and we think about it ourselves for our clients, and that is, should you be running your ads over Christmas? It's a really big question. Now, let's think of what the Christmas period is. Christmas period is Christmas Eve on the 24th. Now, we all know that, you know, I'm sure if, you, if you're a member of a company, whether you have your own staff, whatever you might be doing, we're all sort of questioning when we finish at Christmas. And usually it's like Christmas Eve, half day, and then you get the afternoon off. If you work for a really nice company, I suppose they might give you even time off, or you save your holiday up and you take that week off. Think about that as an example. When are you going to be, when do you think people are going to be closing down and what is their thought process going to be? So if we start from now, it's the 8th of December. I have been on... Um, calls with my team this morning lasted two hours talking about various clients where we have started seeing the costs go up for the purchases and for the particular client that we're talking about heavily it's a charity client so this charity is winning a the, the advertising is about winning a house and then when someone goes on to win that house they can donate to the particular charity that we're working with now what we found is we need to try and keep our website purchases so when someone buys a ticket, Facebook told, tells us it's had a purchase, we're trying to keep that down below five pounds. So for us to make the client the margin they need over and above what the house is worth that they're obviously competing for, they need five pounds per purchase. Now, at the moment, we've seen the costs rise. Now, there are certain things which I'm going to go into a moment, which comes into whether about turning ads on and off. We've had some complications with the particular account. Credit cards have failed. It has to move over to a business um, business bank account, etc. All these, all these little um, changes to the ad account are actually fundamental to how your ads run. So not only is it Christmas time, Christmas time is a very busy period. We've had Black Friday, Christmas time now is everyone's Christmas shopping. They're not because of the pandemic, especially, but online shopping, whether pandemic or not, is very, very popular because people don't want to go out when it's into the local town or mall when it's completely manic with people Christmas shopping. It's a lot easier to have your Christmas list of what you need to buy. Go online and order off private shops, independent shops, not private, independent shops or Amazon or the big supermarkets, whatever it is, and get it delivered straight to your house. So you can imagine that the cost of advertising is going up because there's just so many more people on the platforms. But let's say that leads up to around about the 20th. Now, Come the 20th, people are starting to die down. Now, there's two ways you can look at this, and this is why it all really depends on your business as to whether you should be running ads or not, is because, okay, people are dying down, businesses are getting quieter. There's a lot of sitting in offices, not in my office, but <laughs> joking. There's a lot of sitting in offices where the phone's not ringing as much. The emails aren't coming in. it. The activity in the business world isn't like the rest of the year. So... These people are still in their offices or they're still working from home and they've got more time. So there is one argument that is, are they picking up their mobiles? Are they sitting on their desktops? Are they searching Google? Are they on all these different websites looking at things they can buy or whether they're looking at things or whether they're not looking at things to buy? They're in a place where adverts are going to start popping up in front of them. So they're going to click through, hence your click throughs. So you need to have a think about that. Now, the other thing is, is that when you start getting into after the 20th, we've got the, the down low of that, and then you hit Christmas Eve. Now, from Christmas Eve for three to four days, there's not a lot going on, really, is there? Everyone is celebrating Christmas. 
they are not picking up the phones. They might be if you're 15, 14, 16, 18, because you've got nothing else because you're bored with your grandparents. But essentially, people are busy in that period of time. And then you could argue that that is the same, visiting family and having family around your house all the way through to New Year when things get back to normal again, post New Year, into the New Year, and we're into January. So do you switch them off? Think about what your business is. Is your business an econ business? Is your business a B2B lead gen business? Are you, you really need to think, I don't know what any of your businesses do. So you need to think about logically, should I be running ads during this period? When should I run ads to? Should I turn them off com completely? Do you reduce your budget by 50%? What? And then you're going to be asking me questions like, okay, well, I've heard that if you turn your ads off or you pause them for a period of time, you know, Facebook doesn't like it and the algorithm goes against it. And that is, that is absolutely true. So certain things that came out of my call with my staff this morning was that we got, you know, account manager on the call and trying to understand back end wise, us as media buyers, what we mean by that is people who run ads. We understand all these little bits and bobs because we see it. We're in these systems every day. Account managers, especially my company, they understand everything they need to know. And they talk to the client, to discuss all the needs and wants, et cetera. But, the, but the, the nitty gritty of it isn't on the forefront of their mind. They've got other things, they're busy people, they've got other things they need to concentrate on. So to, to a lot of people, it's, oh, just pause it. But there are, there are things that can happen when you do that. So one of the biggest things is, here we, here we go, I'm going to brought this up on Facebook so I can tell you exactly how Facebook say it. Significant edits and learning phase, right? There's a thing here which says, pausing your ad set for seven days or longer is a problem so every edit you make has some effect on the delivery but not every edit can cause so certain things are happening any the following are considered significant edits okay any change to targeting any change to ad creative optimization event that's what we mean by that is if you know you're running traffic and then you change it to a conversion event you're changing the whole campaign strategy so that's basically starting from scratch adding a new ad to your ad set pausing your ad for seven days or longer okay so let's look at this one it's christmas eve or the day before christmas you turn your ad off and you're going to run it you're going to keep it off for five days to seven days until we get towards new year again there are things that are going to be happening so basically during that time i mean facebook is telling us here that it's a seven days i like to go on the fact that you just don't turn if you've got an ad working you don't turn it off so it could be that you spent the whole year with a particular ad campaign, you might have different types of copy and you might have some dynamic creative going on it. And you've got through all the way to Christmas and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to turn it off. I've got all this time. Now, that is a, you need to answer that yourself. What I would recommend doing if this campaign is working and it's never broken for a, a significant amount of time, even if that's weeks or a month, is you drop your budget by 20%. Now, you might find that you're, you really slam and there's no one buying your product, product, product product during this time now you could just use it as a little bit of waste to spend and reduce it by 20 percent. but by reducing it by 20 percent, like when we increase by 20 percent, it doesn't get affected what they say it doesn't affect the algorithm and the flow so your statistics and everything that's going on will stay the same you might see less purchases or leads because of that christmas period but you know that as soon as you come out over new year you can turn it up by 20 percent back to where it was knowing there's no effect now if you're in a situation when you're turning it off what you've got to what you've got to kind of really understand or make the decision of is is what's going to have a worse detrimental effect to you is turning your ad off for seven days and then restarting it going to be worse than the money you lose during that that time now like if you're a big spender and you're spending 200 pounds a day on your ads and you know for instance that nothing is going to come in for the two weeks over christmas you're not going to want to carry on spending £200 a day. You're, you're going to be wasting a lot, thousands of pounds or dollars, and you'll be better off turning it off and then restarting it because the loss of the money you're going to be spending is worse than the, than the algorithm going back into its learning phase. And pretty much, guys, you know what? Do this a lot with a lot of things. Now, there are some campaigns where things really go off, but most of the time, your ad is going to get back to where it was. It's 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 you don't see it all the time where it's just completely can't fix it. There are other things in it. 
like when we're doing this sort of thing and we're, and we're going, we can't get the cost per purchase we were getting in October, like the call I had this morning. It's because we're in, we're in Christmas time. It's been Black Friday. So the cost, the, the platforms got busier. There's more people advertising on the platform. The CPMs, the cost to get to a thousand people has gone up. Our cost per click has gone up slightly. You know, we have to work hard. We have to change things. But come January, it'll probably come back down to where it was. So I don't have any rights or wrongs. In conclusion, you need to think about your business. Are people going to buy from you during that period of time? Do you, should you be running an ad? Are you running on a small amount of money anyway? In which case, if you just drop it by 20%, even though you might not get many orders or leads, it's not going to have a detrimental effect to your business. Or are you spending high amounts of money, in which case you, and you know that you're not going to get anything in from a two, three week period that you need to switch off. That is what really you need to make your decision on. But think about it in the way that whatever effects you make, you are going to have to go into it. So it needs to be either a very slight adjustment to budget or nothing at all. Think about your business. Think about whether it is going to affect your business or not and go from there. I hope that helps. Um, it gives you something to think about and uh, enjoy your Christmas. Well, I'll speak to you actually. We've got another two podcasts before then. So I'll say it on each one. Enjoy your Christmas. Bye. Bye.